Hey guys, welcome back to my thoughts on everything. First of all, thank you guys for watching again. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, subscribe, like and turn on the notification. So, happy new year to all the diaspora and all the African people. Yesterday it was Ethiopian New Year and in this video I'm going to tell you about why I'm saying Happy New Year to all of you. I will see you in the video. everyone and Aquaba to everyone um, thank you guys for watching and as I have mentioned is that um, I'm going to give my thoughts on the new year the Ethiopian new year and the Ethiopian calendar uh, and the Julius calendar and the Gregorian calendar so if you don't know what it is stick Till the end so you will know what I'm talking about and what's happening with the calendars have we been lied to yes or no okay first let's uh, shout out to the Ethiopians and a happy new year to them and also all the diaspora and all Africa why do I say happy new year to all because I believe the Ethiopian calendar is the one calendar that will, that reminds us of our time our our own time this is our calendar the african calendar this is what i believe um why do i believe this uh, first of all ethiopia was a uh, really powerful empire that's first one of the things and the second one is that they kept this their calendar while the other all the the whole world changed their calendar into first julius calendar and then to the gregorian calendar that's the pope calendar uh, they kept their calendar as it was and really shout out to them um, why and why do i believe that this is our calendar our time because it's based the calendar is based on the old mathematicians and the builders of the pyramids and all those kind of things um, things that they can't explain till now so why would why would we change the calendar well, they, they took it from us, changed it into Julius. And after Julius, in the Roman um, uh, time, they, they changed it in Gregorian. Named after Pope Gregorian of Gregorian Pope, Pope Gregorian the seventh or something, something like that. I don't know. I remember exactly, but it's named after the Pope. Okay, so... Um, is this also a way of confusing everyone the whole world because if the calendar was working for the ancient race ancient people that did these big things lived really good um, vegans all those kind of things why would we change what is working i've always learned that you never change your winning team. You never change what is working. If it worked for you, you won't change it. So why did we change it? Can someone explain this to me in the uh, comment se section? Educate us about this because I really want to know what you guys think about this. One, should we go back 
to the old calendar? Second, or should we stay with the Gregorian calendar? And um, do you agree or not? And why? Educate us. Educate the community about this because there's a lot of people, diaspora, that really wants to know this. Um, and the, the Ethiopian calendar goes back, I think, 3,000 years. Three, four thousand, some say uh, uh, five thousand, because also the Ethiopian they also uh, took it from uh, um, an other African tribe, if I can say it like this. They took it from an other African tribe, and but one thing is a fact that this was the African uh, calendar. And this calendar was based on how the countings uh, go and how the mathematics goes because a calendar is only a result of knowing math and knowing stars, knowing those kind of things. It's a result. You can't build a calendar first and then go uh, learn how to do math. You know, so um, why should we change it? And what do you guys think about this? Because is it something that reminds us of our ancient um, people? And is this also a way to confuse everyone, to confuse our people? So what do you guys think about this? Because this is really important. Why is this important? This is the basic. This is the basic of our people. Um, this is the basic of everything because the calendar is an African calendar. So we are using now something from the other side of the world to measure our things in Africa. Um, think about this. Think about this. It... Um, we need really need to think about this because um, I believe we should use the Ethiopian calendar. Perhaps a lot of you will say no, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense or no, whatever. However, it's the calendar of the colonizers. They decided what days and everything. So. I believe if we really want to um, break free, total free, we need also we need to do it in all the points. And I'm not saying go attack, go do horrible things, go do ugly, <coughs> ugly things. No, none of those things. <coughs> what I'm saying is that. It's just points, it's just things that we can get to know ourselves better. We can get to know our culture, our, our ancestors, all those things. So, um, let me know what you think about this. Let me know. I will really, I want to know. And by the way, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe, like, share this video and turn on the notification. Let's get to the 1700. We have now 1650, I think, subscribers, something like this. 1640, let's get to the 1600, uh, 1700. Okay, guys, um, share this video. So these are facts. Facts are Ethiopian calendar first, second julian cal calendar until 1582 was the julian calendar and then came the rome the pope and gregorian calendar and we are now using the gregorian calendar um so we have three the first one was this the second one was this and the third one was this okay what is the difference between the Ethiopian, the old one, and the Gregorian one. The difference is that the Ethiopian, what I understand, if I'm, if the information is not correct, 
don't roast me, but educate us. Educate. I really want to know everything. Okay, the Ethiopian calendar has 30 days, three zero days. And the Gregorian has 31 days, 30 days, 31 days, 30 days, and uh, 28 days in the um, each four years in February. This is the difference. And Ethiopian, the one day that is left is a month. And this month is beginning of January. So Ethiopia have 13 months. And uh, the, the 12 remaining days, and I believe, and also from the four years, the, 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 I don't know how you say the four years that February has the four days um, or the three days that are, that are not existing there in the Gregorian calendar. But I believe they use also those three days to fit it in the first month. I don't know. Let me know if you know this information. But what I know for a fact is that the month, instead of 31 days, they will the one day they will add some them up and after December or December they will use this for another month the 13th month so the 13th month of Ethiopia is only a few days and then the year starts again make perfect sense make perfect sense um, so this is the old one What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment. Let me know what you guys think. I believe we should handle, we should take, uh, go back to the Ethiopian so we can grow from this, this stage again because we need to go back to the basic. You know, we need to go back to the basic. So what do you guys think about this? Comment educate us if there is things that i missed and i didn't say tell us educate us in the comment and let us know what you know because you know um, we all diaspora are now getting to know our roots our uh, ancestors what they did and those kind of things so we need a lot of education from the local people so let us know let us know, comment what you know. Uh, perhaps you have um, a, a video that you can record and send it for me and I will add it in um, one of my videos that I made. Okay, um, everyone, guys and girls, um, thank you again for watching. And I'm now busy building my site. So uh, uh, someone is building it. We are building it together. And um, this guy is making amazing websites, really beautiful. And he's making mine now, mythoughtsoneverything.com. Uh, it's not finished, but I want, your, I want your opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the site. It's going to host all the YouTube videos um, I have also partnered with um, uh, for cheap hotels that you can search for cheap hotels in uh, Ghana or Africa and tickets. You can scan tickets so you know exactly you will see what is the cheapest tickets that you can get to go to Africa. So. Go check the site out, out. It's not finished yet. I expect it will be finished in like three days. Let me know what you think about it, how it is right now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, like, and turn on the notification. Let me know what you think about this video. My thoughts on everything out.